Hello, my name's Jadine. I'm a user experience designer and I make videos about design, research and accessibility. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing tips on how to land your first design internship. Not only can you gain valuable experience and skills from a design internship, but often a great route into a full-time job. Internships in general are a great opportunity to test out your skills on real projects, gain valuable insights into career paths and build your professional network. The details of internships, such as the type, the duration, and whether or not they pay, all vary, but this is something that will be made clear in the description when applying for the role. So, briefly, let's talk about what an internship is. An internship is simply a period of work experience for a specified amount of time within a company. Interns have a specific job role and tasks to carry out. Many internships are advertised online and have a formal application process. They are usually undertaken by students and graduates looking to gain relevant experience and skills. However, if the internship does not specify that it's a graduate scheme or open exclusively to students, I would encourage anyone that needs the experience to apply. Because as we all know, experience is key. Why do companies offer internships? Companies often use internships to hire full-time staff, using them as a trial period to see if they will take that person on permanently. So, when you go and take on an internship, give it your best effort because you never know if there might be a job offer at the end of it. It's also common for startups and agencies to bring in interns when they are working on large projects or they have very busy periods within their business. So, what do interns typically do? The majority of interns carry out support tasks in junior roles. When I was interning in my last year of uni, I worked for a tech company called Interwear, which specialised in wearable tech to improve the workflow within different sectors. Now, I had no prior experience working with wearable technology, but this internship really opened door for me to see how design can be applied in this industry. I was involved in marketing tasks, video editing and producing presentations and documents for their products. I really enjoyed this internship because it was really varied and no two days were the same. After graduating uni, I then got an internship at ITV and saw how design can be applied within a TV production setting on soaps such as Emmerdale. The duties of an intern will vary greatly depending on the employer. Some interns are gradually given more responsibilities and become a key member of the team, making significant contributions to the company. What experience will you need? You may be glad to know that no experience is required, as internships are all about gaining experience. For the application, however, they may want to see examples of your work, so that's something to bear in mind. What are the benefits of doing an internship? Some key advantages include Strengthening your CV, gaining that valuable experience which will set you apart from other candidates. Hands-on experience, that is using the skills that you've learned in a live working environment. That could be a busy design studio or part of an in-house design team. Exploring different roles. In an internship, you have the opportunity to sample potential careers. That could be UI design, UX design, or even a UX researcher. You can explore the industries that you think you'd enjoy working in without having the commitment of a long-term working contract. New connections, giving you an opportunity to build up a network of creative contacts. And insight, here you can get an insight into what it's like to be part of a creative business and how it runs day to day and the challenges that they may face and how they overcome them. Will I be paid? There has been a lot of debate surrounding internships on this subject, especially those which are unpaid. Unpaid internships exclude those who would benefit from the experience but can't take part due to the financial setbacks of working for free, especially if the opportunities you'd like to pursue are based in a city where the cost of living is very high, such as London, where your rent, your travel, is going to be quite expensive for you if you're not having an income to support you. Questions have actually been raised whether unpaid internships should be allowed at all. 
Paid internships are available but they are also competitive, even though they only pay minimum wage. If you are unable to secure a paid internship, you may want to consider if it's feasible for you to take on an unpaid internship, given the benefits that were mentioned previously. How do I apply for internships? Some organisations will ask you to fill out an online application. This could have many stages and steps. Others may go through a recruitment process which is similar to hiring a full-time employee. In both cases, you need to be able to find where these opportunities are. So in the description box, I've left a link of different websites where you can find design internships. Once you've found an internship that you're excited about applying for, I recommend you do the following. Create an online profile for employers. If you've not done so already, set up a LinkedIn profile. LinkedIn is one of the websites that I have recommended to find internships and other opportunities for creative jobs. You can also network with recruiters who may be able to help you find these jobs much easier than going through all of the different opportunities yourself. Once this is done, you can add a link to your LinkedIn profile on your CV. Which brings me nicely onto point two, perfect your CV and cover letter. Your CV and cover letter should and will make a great impression on the employer if this is the first interaction that you've had with them. So put a lot of effort into how you write your personal statement and also you can convey your motivations like why you want to work for your why you want to work for the organization and how like what skills you can bring to the table if you're enthusiastic if you're passionate if you are a good problem solver these are things that you can work into your cv and cover letter include a sample portfolio this is something that i've touched on in previous videos but the majority of design internships that i've had would like to see a sample portfolio of your work they are not looking to critique you here but just check that you've got the essential skills needed to be able to take on the internship make sure you tailor your examples to the role that you're applying for if possible so if you're applying for a ui role pick ui design examples whereas if you're applying for a ux design role pick ux design examples and really talk through the process as best you can but keep it brief only two to three examples that should do the trick. And last but not least, follow up. After you've sent your application, be that your application form that they require or your CV and cover letter, just drop them a quick email to follow up and check that they received what you sent. In summary, internships are a great addition to your CV when you're just starting out and it gives you that valuable experience you need to really stand out amongst other candidates. If you have any additional questions about internships, feel free to drop them in a comment below. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you can know when I'm bringing out a new one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.